Well, welcome on board here. It is good to be with you this morning on Thursday, May 21st. On Thursday. Wow, where is the week gone? And what a gorgeous week weather-wise it's been, eh? Really good here in New Jersey. Nice to, nice to have this kind of weather. I love it. So uh, it's good to have you on board. Uh, check in with one another there. Greetings to everybody that's coming on board this morning. It's good to see everybody. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to be in person sometime before too much longer. We'll see. So uh, today we give thanks for and uh, think about a new word, a new biblical word, and it is time for a word from the Bible. Okay, and our word today is justice, justice, the word justice. Let me adjust this just a little bit. I didn't mean the pun on play on words there, just adjust it for justice anyway. So justice. Good morning, everybody. Glad you're here. So justice is our word for the day. As we think about the word justice, we look, uh, first of all, at a couple of quotes from Scripture here. Isaiah saying to us, Learn to do good, seek justice, rescue the oppressed, defend the orphan, plead for widow, the widow. Uh, seems to imply that justice is something that we can do or be involved in. And then in Amos chapter 5, very famous passage there, but let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. And we'll see this great connection between the words justice and righteousness. All right. Then we take a look at a couple of other things. Uh, Jeremiah 9, 24, describing God. Uh, I am the Lord who exercises loving kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth, for I delight in these things, declares the Lord. So I just wanted to point out that justice is, uh, first of all, is an action and an attribute of God. It's something that God does. God exercises justice and God exercises righteousness. I would suggest that justice has its roots in God, in God's action, in God's faithfulness, in God's being upright with us and just with us. Uh, both God's actions and our godly actions are uh, a part of what we mean by justice. And so I've got a couple of good songs for you today to sing, so uh, join with me. You get to sing on the chorus, and then if you'll listen to me as we sing a verse. Where justice rolls down like a mighty water And righteousness grows like an ever-flowing stream And mercy resounds like the waves on the ocean Let the praises rise high on the songs of the redeemed Where justice rolls down like a mighty water And righteousness grows like an ever-flowing stream And mercy resounds like the waves on the ocean let praises rise high on the song of a redeemed. There is a river that streams from the temple, begins as a trickle, but ends in the sea as it grows, healing it will give. Everything will live Where justice rolls down like a mighty water And righteousness grows like an ever-flowing stream 
and mercy resounds like the waves on the ocean. Let praises rise high on the songs of the redeemed. Wait in the water and feel the strong current. Remember the stagnance of stale life before. God is here. Leave the past behind. In these That praises rise high on the song of the redeemed. Ah, nice, nice tune this morning to start things off. Okay, so justice. In the Bible, justice and righteousness are very, very closely related. Some would even suggest they're uh, synonymous. And in fact, uh, when we translate some original languages, often the same word is translated as righteousness and or justice, tzedakah in the Hebrew, for example. Uh, they're both what we might call covenant words, that is, words that describe life in the covenant relationship with God. Life in relationship with God. Righteousness, justice. They're covenant with God words for us. And uh, in the United States, we value justice and equality. Some would say that equality and justice are the same. Uh, careful there. I'm not sure that's exactly true because what is exactly equal may not be necessarily just. Some would say that justice and fairness are the same. But I'd suggest care there as well. Justice in the Bible is much more than being fair. Uh, God is just, which is a lot more than just being fair. Um, anyway, just some thoughts from me and then a couple of other things here. Try this definition if you would. Justice is the ordering of society that is demanded by God and in which all life can thrive. So two parts to this. It's a covenant requirement that we do justice, live justly. Uh, and a uh, second part, where there is justice, life thrives, life teems, life abounds. Justice is the ordering of society that is demanded by God and in which all life can thrive. And of course, this ties into the famous Micah passage there. He has told you, O mortal, what is good. In other words, what, that which in which life thrives. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? And uh, for my money, we wouldn't get away uh, if we did not sing uh, Larry Olson and uh, Julie Clark's do justice uh, from uh, Dakota Road. So join me in singing, if you would, please. Racing around, chasing idols unfulfilled, empty vessels whirl on the edge, out of control, will we survive? God, do 
justice, love mercy, all complete with our God, with our God. All right, so go forth today and do justice. Do justice, love kindness, walk humbly with our God. It is good to be with you today. Nice to have you present here and singing along and uh, continue to bring greetings to one another as you're able. Uh, let's pray. Thank you, loving God, for you bring to us the justice of your love, a justice which is much more than fair, but treats us out of love and through your righteousness. Through your righteousness, we are able to stand upright before you. Through your justice, you have made a way for us, despite our brokenness. Amid the challenges of life, help us to also love justice, to do justice, to walk justly with our, in our relationships. Help us to know your righteousness and to treat others righteously. Remind us of your present help in all things. Show us beauty in this glorious world around us. Calm our anxiousness. Heal our diseases. Encourage us with your presence. Guide us into your ways. Be with those who care for others. Settle our hearts in strength and give us patience and peace. And at the last, O oh Lord, raise us up to share with your faithful people all the joys that you have won for us. And now teach us to pray, O Lord. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So now, uh, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. May the Lord Almighty order our days and our deeds in Christ's peace, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Go in that peace. Focus on the positive, on what it is that you can control and do. May the Lord be with you. Blessings. See you tomorrow.